What's going on guys, when I bandit back again with yet another video talking about more Dragon Ball Fighters character specific changes I would like to see within the season 3 patch. Today I'm doing Krillin on account of myself because last video nobody gave me a character they wanted to see done and I always liked Krillin. He was one of my very first characters I chose, especially when the beta came out and <clears throat> I just I just mainly loved how quick he was. Um, one of the first smaller characters that they gave us and he definitely felt like he had a lot of depth to him but you know as the game went on you could definitely see there were some flaws within him as well um, one of the main things being that he is small so he has short and stubby normals um, especially his startup normals I mean his medium standing normal is pretty good because like I always say if a character's move lunges them forward, it's good because it's decent and it's decent in, in neutral. Um, so if you're standing far apart from your opponent and they decide they want to try to come up on you and you decide to hit a button or you stand medium early, it's very easy to you know throw this move out and catch them off guard. And that is something that Krillin isn't too bad at doing same thing with his down medium it isn't too bad but it can be kind of stubby his 2h is god awful one of the worst 2h's in the game and <clears throat> other than that yeah the character has special moves that can definitely use a buff because in the season two patch they actually took away uh, his ability to use all of his normals within a combo which is specifically only his 2H. So if you guys didn't know, back when the character was in season one or whatever, uh, you were allowed to use every bit of his normals, including his 2H on the very last hit if you wanted to end the combo with that or end your normal with that. And for whatever reason, they took that away. And they took that away from a couple of different um, uh, characters which was kind of strange in itself, like Gohan can't do it anymore. Um, for, for him though, I would definitely take that away, adult Gohan, because the pressure that that character has is actually ridiculous anyway, so um, to me, he definitely probably could have used that. But as for Krillin, a character who, who is very, very stubby in the first place and doesn't have too much to go off of, um, I would definitely give him that ability back, just to, because it's something else to add, right? I mean, it's not the greatest 2H in the world. Um, obviously, you don't want to end your, your staggers with it because you're going to get hit because it's not safe on block. But, you know, it just adds that extra layer. And, I mean, I, I don't see a reason to really take it away from a character that you know isn't very good most people would put care or most people would put krillin at lower tier um maybe even like the lowest of the low um along with uh who's the most trash character in the game right now in my opinion it's like jiren but a lot of people would definitely put krillin in that bracket so um i i don't know i don't really understand why they did what they did with him and that is mainly me talking about these rocks they gave the character like this is unacceptable to give a character like this they were just trolling us when they did this i feel like this move is so god awful it just doesn't make any sense in the world now the thing about it though is it is very very plus and i don't mind that whatsoever right like you throw it out and it's i mean it's plus 19 frames but that comes at the cost of your opponent being able to super dash it, of course, um, and obviously reflect it, but uh, it's the Oki on it. Like, you, you might have some decent Oki, right? But the fact of the matter is it's just bad. Like, it's not a good assist as well. So um, I think Krillin would instantly be better if they just gave him, a, if they gave him his beam because he does have... Like, honestly, one of the best beams in the game, like right next to Super Saiyan Goku. It might even be a little bit better since he can hold it and jump up in the air. Um, so he can definitely cover his himself in neutral a little bit. Um, so that's something that could definitely be looked at by the developers if they ever decide, uh, okay, let's not give Krillin <laughs> rocks for an assist. Because I feel like a lot of people would use Krillin if his assist wasn't the rocks. 
And then they even tried to finesse us and give him two rocks. <laughs> two rocks for the price of a whole bar. <laughs> I like two rocks for the price of a whole bar. That uh that is also his his um his EX version of those rocks. And so, I mean, when you look at this character at that like and you you look at him in in a mirror or whatever and and you're like uh why would i want to do this why would i ever want to use this move like the rocks can be used like a couple of times right or on like a very uncompetent opponent right and it might bag them every now and then but the minute they they catch on and you know decide they want to start super dashing or whatever these rocks aren't going to help anybody like and I'm not even mad that they are where they are, right? Because it it just, like, it mainly only matters for the assist to me. Like, if it wasn't the assist, it would be so, it would be, it would be better. If, if his assist was literally the beam or, hell, even the solar flare, which, you know, stuns the opponent a good amount. Um, it's not plus on block or anything, but it is very safe to do. It's negative, too. Um, so, I mean, the solar flare is isn't bad whatsoever so i would even i would take that and i would even take i would take the beam for sure because when it comes to oki the crazy part about the rocks is it's literally the same as his key blast damn near right so if you didn't know if you double tap at any point krillin's key blast it'll send it in a different pattern right so i can let it hit nappa or i can like wait till it till it uh I can wait till it gets to him and throw him up in the sky and they always come back down, right? I mean, they're not homing or anything, but if you know the distance that it's going to go, especially if your opponent is standing still, this is why this is a decent wake up tool um, because you can you can throw this out and catch your opponent if they decide they want to hit a button for whatever reason. Um, obviously they can be super dash, but I think his, his neutral key blast are really, really good. I mean, you can send them out pretty quick and like I said, the minute you... Uh, the minute you hit that button again, they become they become air key blast, and you never know when they're gonna come down, or your opponent doesn't really. He has to time it very very well. But like I said, you can throw these out into neutral and be and be okay sometimes. But it's mainly used for Oki situations. And again, like I think this throwing a rock in the air is the same as the key blast it, I mean the rocks might be a little bit faster but the key blast is like really good for Oki and so it's almost like they gave the character a move twice which is very very interesting um, but I, I just can't say anything more to that because the rocks are so bad this character would literally be great if he didn't have to deal with the rocks because I mean he does have, you know, a plus move in the after image, and of course you can you can fake these after images and catch your opponent off guard. I think this move is really really good. Um, I think it could use maybe a little bit of invincibility sometimes. I mean, I get that you have to have that ability to attack your opponent when they're doing it because you're you're trying to catch them off guard on purpose. Um, but like, I I don't know if they added something more to these after images. They would be a lot better. Um, I don't like the fact that they like make Krillin back up when he does the medium version. Um, I mean, that's great for catching your opponent off guard, definitely. Because it, well, actually, I do like that because it moves them right. Um, and yeah, th this move is all around great. So I like. There's not much you can really do because you can definitely catch your opponent off guard when they when you're doing something and you're catching them in a stagger and the only thing about it is it gives your opponent um it gives your opponent uh time to realize what you're doing so if you do it too much they're gonna catch on and just start beating you out of course um the fact that they can 2h all versions of this is kind of silly in my book so i would definitely make the light version um non 2hable um and make the medium version plus well, the medium version is plus, but I would make the medium version like, re like at least plus four or something like that. Whereas the light version can be negative on block. I don't care, but um, 
this this would make it to where it's not too hable and you could still catch your opponent off guard if need be whereas the medium version you would be able to 2 h it i feel like if they were to throw it out randomly i think that would help a lot but if they block it it's plus and it's your turn again so um there are definitely things that can make krillin a way better character than he is at this point in time and the simple fact of the matter is honestly the character would be great in great hands if it weren't for the rocks and that is basically all that I have to say about the character because I really do like Krillin if uh, if they got rid of those rocks as an assist I think he would be on my team honestly because I I love these after images man these these things are just really good I, I just like being able to fake out my opponent and <laughs> it just makes sense for them to be good like it was a, it's an amazing concept and i really enjoy the fact that they put it in the game but the fact that they gave him these rocks as an assist and even as a move period very very disrespectful of krillin so um if if you guys have any suggestions on how you would buff krillin and if you don't even like krillin how would you nerf him um, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know what character you would like to see me attempt to buff and or nerf next because it's greatly appreciated. It gets you guys flowing in the community and it gets a discussion started. And I just want to let you guys know that this is exactly what this is for. It's to just start a discussion down in the comment section below. I don't know everything about the game, but I can definitely give my input and so can you guys as well. I'm just here to give out my ideas and you're there to basically tap into those ideas as well along with your own ideas. So guys, again, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please come join the Bandit Army. Remember that God and anime are always on your side. That's all I got for y'all. Peace out.